again. Every stream I have this problem. Every s there we go. There he is. There he is. Hi everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, am I alive? Am I here? Yes, I'm here. I think I'm live. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm live. Somebody, somebody, get in the chat and tell me that I'm live. If, if I feel like I am, I feel very. I feel so alive for the very first time. I'm not sure who that was. Whoever it was that said that. Uh, that's me. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Diamond Geezers 2. Uh, my name is Mike, and I'm the manager of the mighty, the mighty AFC Ruston and Diamonds on Football Manager 12. We have made it all the way from the doldrums of the Northern Division 1 or whatever, all the way up to League 1. We are a professional football team. Oh, Bill, good afternoon. Hi, Bill. Hi, Clay Play. Oh, my torch is a bit low and makes me look like a zombie. Let me turn my torch up a bit. Uh, how, do you, how do you do, torch? There we go. Boom. A little bit brighter, so I actually look like I've, I've got colour in my skin. I don't feel like I do. I've not, not slept very well again. Not feeling very well, as usual. But it's fine. I mean, what's going to make me feel better is drinking a lot of water and also playing some Football Manager. So here we are. Good day, Bill. Clay Play. Max. Hi, everybody. Hi, Stephen with a PH. Mm. Steve with a PH. I don't know if you've... Um, Oh, Starbury's already been to Tim. Already been to, already been to Tim Hortons. Unbelievable! What a start to the day. Um, Stephen, yeah, I don't know if you saw the stream of me and Gabby playing Ark together, but we did name uh, we did name one of the uh, dinosaurs that we tamed uh, Steve with a PH, uh, spelled um, you know oh no not that like like that spelled like that Steve with a PH. Uh, it's partly partly because of you, partly because of CM Tid, and partly because of that meme. So anyway. We are here and we are pretty much ready for some for some League Cup action. Um, I don't know why Hume is playing up front, but he's not. Um, so I, I, re I realised this morning just how many actual Premier League and like professional footballers we have. Oh, it was POD. Well done. I see, Bill, I knew you'd know him. So I'm, I'm glad you're back, Bill, even even if it's just temporarily. Uh, hi, Xander. Yes, Paul out is quite right and well deserved. We've got quite a few players that are not really fit for this one, unfortunately. So we're going to have to um, have a... Yeah, it's going to be a little bit tricky it's been a little bit tricky to pick the team what i've decided on is nathan ake at left back which i know sounds a bit crazy but the child isn't really fit and also we're playing wigan away so we could probably do with it. are we away actually i'm not sure uh can't remember whether we're home or away oh yeah we are away yeah yeah we're away um so i feel like ake gives us a little bit more strength at left back Heraldes has to play right back because uh, little Ricky isn't fit either. Um, there's, there's quite a lot of unfitness. Molnar isn't fit, 86%. Um, Rabio isn't fit, he's only at 89 um, And Agafonovs isn't fit, he's only at 89% as well. So we've got a lot of unfitness throughout the squad. The fixtures have been coming thick and fast so far this season. So this game is going to see a debut for Hotter in attacking midfield. Um, we've got Yannick Carrasco on the right. We've got Riyad Mahrez on the left. We've got Tom Carroll in midfield. We've got Nathan Ake in our back four. We've got Jack Anik in goal. How can we possibly lose any games of football this season? It's impossible. Um, so, yes, this, I'm feeling pretty good about this, to be honest, even though we're away to Wigan. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dale. Um, hi, Martin. Hi, CM Tid. Hi, mate. Oh, Owen's here as well. Hello. Um, yes, yeah, Stephen, funny up via YouTube. That's good. Very good. Nice to, nice to hear that. Um, RVX, afternoon chaps, out working today, we'll catch up later. Okay mate, cheers, see you in a bit. Uh, well done everybody for coming back. See you in a bit. Um, so, League Cup time, is everybody ready? I feel like we should just fire straight into the League Cup, straight into the Wigan game. It's an exciting afternoon. I tagged loads of real footballers on Twitter with my uh, with my announcement, um, and <laughs> I, it, it just made me realise how many actual football players, like real ones, that we've got in the team now. It's very exciting, very exciting indeed. I feel a little bit bad for Frank Thierry, who's a hundred percent, and he did play really well um, in that uh, previous. Oh, actually, I need to put another defense centre back on the bench. Uh, let's put Miller. Oh no, actually, Zico. Love a bit of Zico. He can go on the bench instead of the child because the child isn't really fit. Um, yeah, it made me realise how many real footballers we've got in the team now. So, you know, the DW Stadium, does. we don't fear the DW Stadium. We do not fear it. Let's go. Yes, that's right. Oh, day off in Canada for Starbury. Excellent. Well, if that's not a reason to celebrate, I don't know what is. Okay, this is Hotter's first game. It's his debut. I've got a good feeling about Hotter. I absolutely love him in real life. Hotter. Oh, Brentford hero. Absolute hero. Dragged us out of the doldrums and just a brilliant, just such a classy player. I've got a good feeling about him. Absolutely excellent. I mean, he's not going to replace uh, the gavel, 
um, Molnar in the team permanently, no, no, no doubt. But Molnar isn't fit today, so Hotter has to have a go. I've also shaved, which I sort of regret. Uh, oh no, Clattenburg is our referee. Ugh, I'm not sure if I'm happy about that or not. To be honest, I don't really have any feelings about referees at the moment. They have got quite a good team. I remember there was one football manager where Greg, Greg Halford, who's playing. Uh, probably right back for them today. Greg Halford was like a wonder kid, wasn't he, on one of the FMs? You, you could, I'm sure all of you in the chat will be able to tell me which one it was. They actually don't have a bad team here, Wigan. Let's have a quick look at them. Yeah, Greg, Greg, in one of the FMs, Greg Halford, it wasn't this one, it was when he was younger. It was probably like Champ Manager 3 or something. Greg Halford was a player that you signed. You signed immediately um, from from Colchester, and he had loads of positions. Well, I mean, he already he still has loads of positions. He had loads of positions. He certainly wasn't a right back. You didn't waste him at right back, but he's he's still a good player as Halford. Their defense is quite good. Halford, Klein, Ben Me, and uh, Andre Wisdom. Wis uh, Wisdom isn't as good as I thought he would be on this. Let's see how good Klein is. I mean, Klein playing at left back is curious. I guess he does seem to be a natural left back, uh, even though he's right footed. But anyway, they they do have quite a good team. Yeah, Haroon is good. Fernandez is good. Kieran Gibbs is playing left mid for them. Interesting. Interesting choice. Hmm, I'm not so sure about that one. Right, okay. Well, I've got got a good feeling about this one. Yeah, Bill, yeah, yeah. Your beard was magnificent. I'm really surprised you shaved. My beard was just made of laziness. So it was an easy decision to, to shave it. But um, I wish that I hadn't... Uh... Yeah, mega names, exactly. Mega names signed. Um, um... Oh, Dale, you're not... Oh, well, we've got some serious names. Yeah, we've got some serious names in the team now. It's, ridic it's ridiculous. So Wigan Athletic. Wigan Pathetic, more like. Uh, yeah, I mean, something like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. It's a, it's a, it's a solid maybe. Okay, here we go. We're going to calmly tell them. They they seem to like... You know, they're like, they're, they're like um, horses. You have to just... All the players, they're like horses. You have to just calmly go over, stroke their noses, give them sugar cubes, and just be like... I expect to see much better from you today. And it, it seems to work every time. It seems to. So, the DW Stadium holds no fear for us. We are the mighty AFC Rustin and Diamonds, and here we go. I'm going to blow my nose immediately. <laughs> so, <laughs> volume going down. Good luck, everyone. Good, I didn't miss anything. Oh, I don't, I don't like the look of this. This is bad. This is bad. They're playing actual football. Okay, he's offside. No, don't worry. No, no, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Yep. Yep. Oh, dear. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're doing fine. Yeah, we signed some, signed some real players, um, mainly just because they were who they were. But actually, oh, that's a great ball from Hotter. Bartman is through. Lob in Bartman. Oh, Bartman. Oh, misses his connection more often than not nowadays, unfortunately. Um, he has scored some good goals for us this season. He scored a hat trick on the um, on the last stream, on the Saturday stream. Oh Jesus Christ, Jordi Comes! What is Ake doing? Jesus, Ake just put Halford through on goal. Um, yeah, well, some of them we signed just because they were who they were. But I've got to say, I signed Mares thinking we won't really need Riyad Mares. Our hot has done well again. Um, but actually, Mares after. Um, Oh, what's his name? One of our newer newer players whose name I can't remember, the left winger. After he got injured, Mares was just unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely ripping fullbacks to pieces. So I've got a good feeling about Mares at least. Um, this is the League Cup. Yeah, this is the second round of the League Cup. Tough fixture. Um, I really did hope that if we... Oh, no. Missed, missed tackles usually mean goals. Oh, that is awful from Gibbs. Gibbs should have shot there. Um, we're the thing is, it's a, it's a tough draw to get this. When oh, Drobnak, that's three tackles I've seen Drobnak miss. He can't keep missing tackles. We need him to make tackles, not miss them. I might have to hook him at half time if if he keeps doing that. Miss tackles is usually what leads to goals being conceded in this game. It seems. I feel like pretty much every time we we miss a tackle, a goal goes in. So actually, the fact that we haven't conceded, why does Anik insist on hitting it long as well? That's Drobnak missed another tackle. He's all over the place, Drobnak. He's been given the runaround. Yeah, DW full as ever, yeah. I mean, Bart Bartman hasn't started well, but he's only had one thing to do. So you need to... I mean, he needs more of the ball to, you know... You can't really assess how much he's doing things wrong if he doesn't have the ball. I'm a bit worried about Jordi Gomez. Jordi Gomez is a problem. Where's he actually playing? 
let's have a quick uh, let's have a quick look at their let's have a quick look at their tactics. The audio game is just playing in midfield. Well, uh, I, I, there's no point going man for man on him. I I still oh I still do insist on playing it out. Um, I just don't know why Anik just refuses to do it. He's just refusing to go short for some reason. Playing it out is the is the way to is the way to go. Uh, the flying V theoretically won't make any difference. They've only got two in midfield, so dropping somebody into DMC doesn't make any sense. What hap what needs to happen is that Drobnak needs to actually make tackles. That would be helpful. There's Gomez. Oh, it's Carroll. Ah, okay. Maybe I need to swap. This is possibly what I need to do is to swap Drobnak and Carroll around. Maybe that will maybe that will help. Let's see. That's okay. That's a bit better. Good tackle. Get that Hotter. Nice. Hotter's actually done more defending than my defenders so far. And he's done all of it quite well. Oh, no. Sinaskis. Ah, oh, he's at 53. This is a very scrappy game. No, very scrappy. Oh, hi, Chris Donahue. I love Dragon Age. Oh, here we go. Drop that corner. Beef! Oh, the beef makes it 1-0! Oh, ho, ho. don't don't count off drop. Don't count out Drobnak yet. He's still got set pieces in his locker. Yes, the beef flukes one in. I think that just came off of his bum. Just bummed it in for one nil. Let's see that again. Completely undeserved. Totally and utterly undeserved. Go on, beef. Just bum that in. Oh no, it was off his knee. It was off his knee. It wasn't a bum at all. I take it back. Off of his knee. Completely undeserved. Total champing of Wigan so far. Have some of that. Yeah, just use Ander. Sorry, mate. It was a it was a very scrappy goal. Tell the players how well they're playing. Okay, <laughs> I'm not sure that they are, but okay. <laughs> we haven't really done anything with the ball so far. Anik has been our best player. Oh no, Anik. Oh well, beef. But well, I guess beef. But he scored. That doesn't really count. Uh, Drobnak is has missed a few tackles, but he is looking fired up. So that's fine. Okay, that's all right. Maybe he's just marking the wrong person. Let's find out. A Wigan Prem. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Go on, Drob. He's got it now. He's back. Oh, Mares. Oh, Nath. Look at Ake go. What's he doing? Oh, he's charged into the box. Bart man. Bart man makes it too. What's going on? What is happening? This never happens to us. This never happens. It's usually the opposite. What is... I love Nathan Ake's um, just ambition to just get forward and Bartman finds himself between the center halves have some of that yes keep faith with the players outrageous outrageous um i'll play you the first goal at full time uh xander especially if we win we'll replay the whole game go on tommy oh bartos is in he's fluked his way past ben me oh he's forced wide give it to mares back post al habsi's out of position oh <laughs> Could have been three. It could easily have been three. Ah, uh, Drobnak's given Jordi Gomez a good kicking. That's what I like to see. Okay, Drob I'm going to take Drobnak off. He's not really playing very well. I think Zico will do a job on him. Oh, Clay Play, thank you for the thank you for the bits. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Fred Eggs. Okay. Have you guys got sound? Did you hear that? It was a bit quiet. Was was that a bit quiet? Did you hear that? Let me know if you can actually hear sounds. You should be able to, but I never know with Streamlabs. I honestly, it just just makes the rules up as it go along as it goes along. Zico is a tackler. He's a he is a he is a no nonsense tackling machine. Oh, Bartman! Oh, he needs a runner. He needs a runner there. There's no. It's, it's a little bit cramped in midfield. My my players don't really know each other. Is the problem? We're so early into the season. Oh Jesus! Another missed tackle. It is Zico this time. Oh, Ake, why, why? That's the third penalty we've given away this season. We've only played about six games. We've give, we're, we're giving a lot of penalties away. Greg Halford, my danger man. Anik saves! Jack Anik saves his second pen of the season. Oh, yes, thank goodness for Jack Anik. I'll tell you what, he has saved. We've given away three penalties already this season, and Anik has saved two of them. That is pretty impressive. I, I don't feel happy or comfortable at all. 
Especially when Jordi Gomez is around. Oh, go on. Oh, Bartman, I thought he was going to sneak in. Just for a second there. We'll make some changes in a minute. Look at what are they doing? Hotter and Bartos are playing in the same position. And I'm going to take Hotter off because... Is it, oh, great tackle. What a tackle from Cena. Love him. I can't help calling him John Cena in my mind. I don't know why. Um, Ka Carol has only given intermittent um, signs that he's actually any good. He is going to be good. He's just struggling to blend into the squad. He doesn't... He doesn't quite... Oh, no, Zico again. Put it out. Yeah, that's fine. Um, he, he's only... He's, he's struggling to blend into the squad. So, I mean, he's captain today. But I've, um, I'm sort of having to slowly introduce him. Because he's not playing brilliantly on a game-by-game -game basis. Go on, Hotter. Find someone. Good ball. Oh, put him through, Bartman! Oh, my God. Carrasco could have been in. I'm going to have to take Carrasco off. He's really struggling. Uh, that's okay. Agafanovs can give somebody a good... Give, give him a good running. Give him a good charging around. I'm actually going to take uh, Hotter off as well for Thierry. I thought Thierry played really well in that last game. Superb he was. Yeah, Zico. Yeah. Oh, Gabby's here. Hi, Gab. Yeah, you're here for the hype. You've made it. I'm not sorry. I'm not really paying attention to the chat at the moment. I've got managering to do. Bartos is in. Bartos on his left peg. Oh, no. He's not good on his left foot. We all know that. He's intermittently only good on his right foot, to be honest. I really need a new mouse. Come on, lads. Come on. Oh, good. Good challenge. Beautiful. Get that, Thierry. Go on, Zico. Go on, Zico. Just run it. Oh, you can't be getting tackled by Jordi Gomez, of all people. Got to take him out. Oh, that's a good boy. He's got to score. Oh, Anik. Jack Anik. What a legend. What a legend. What a legend. Tom, Tom Carroll is going to be good. It's, I feel like Tom Carroll is the same as Nathan Ake. Oh, that's a good goal. Well, okay. Set piece is fine. Okay, whatever. Set pieces. You're always in trouble from set pieces. They're massively overpowered on this. Where's he going with the ball? He's supposed to put it on the centre circle, you knobhead. I think Andre Wisdom, he's not, he's, he's, the name's ironic, I think. The name's ironic. Uh, not great defending. We really shouldn't be 2-0, two, two, should never have been 2-0 up, so. Oh, Thierry! <laughs> Thierry's knocked it in! Thierry! He's snuck in and it restored the lead! <laughs> We couldn't deserve this any less. Three shots on target. Three goals for AFC Ruston. We're going are gonna to be sick if they don't win this. They really are. They've missed a pen. They've missed some guilt-edged chances. Jack Anik has had a blinder in goal. And they've just bottled it at the back. Every time we've come forward, they have just bottled it. Deary, deary me. Yeah, Hughes started pretty slowly, exactly, because I wasn't really playing him in the right role. And it might be the same for Carroll. I've, I've got Carroll as an advanced playmaker, but it might be that he needs to be a deep-lying playmaker or maybe... I, I don't know. Oh, that's... Oh, Anik. Just pick that up. Nice. They just... W players need time to blend into the, into the squad. It just is what it is. We, we're right at the beginning of the season. So there, there can't be any, this person's rubbish, this person's brilliant. It's just... Nothing is consistent at the moment. You know, so Car Carroll hasn't started amazingly. Um... But he's, it's, it does say that he's having trouble blending into the squad. So it's going to take him time to get used to his teammates, which means he isn't going to play very well for a while. Oh, what a move, though. That's a great ball from Carroll. Oh, Carroll gets an assist. Bartman scores his second. And all four of our shots on target have gone in. We are just decimating Wigan on the counter. What a move that was. Some serious interplay. Serious. Zico to Thierry to Carroll. Bartos just comes out of nowhere. He's just hanging around on the halfway line. Gets through one-on-one -on -one with Al Habsi. Just tucks it underneath him. Boom! Can you believe this? The DW Stadium is, well, I mean, it was quiet at, at the kickoff, but it's even quieter now. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Ridiculous, actually. Ridiculous. Oh, Tom, yeah, uh, Carol. <sighs> He's on a 7.5, Carol, probably because he's, he's got at least one assist. He might have more than one. Oh, what a result this is going to be. 
Nice. Go and get that. Go and get that. Oh, ref, come on now. Book him. Yep, we've had one clear-cut chance. Four shots on target, four goals. It's a reverse champing. It is a reverse champing. This is the sort of game that I expect to be on the other side of every time. You never expect to be on the right side of this kind of result. Absolutely unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a, what a game. What a game. Uh, they don't like passion. Magnificent. Calm magnificence. What a result. Bartos man of the match for his two goals. I work hard for the oh, money. Oh, play play, thank you. So hard for the money. <laughs> oh, I something, something uh, money. Come more. on, give me lots of money. So well, what's, I think Xander missed the first goal. It was just, it was just, it came off the beef's knee. Just came off his knee. Completely against the run of play. It was in like the 43rd minute or something. We're going to spend 42 minutes just all over us. Completely didn't deserve that result. But we'll take it. Obviously, we'll take it. Bartos is top scorer in the cup. Have some of that, Wigan. Have some of that. Yes. Get those cups out. Get the cups out in the chat. Everybody get your cups out. Everyone that's got one, get them out. Here they come. I'm putting loads in. It's cup time. Oh, yes. Solid. Have some of that. Supreme fillet of a goal. Exactly. That was ridiculous, that result. That was... I'm actually sitting here not happy. Which I know sounds ridiculous, but we really didn't play very well. <laughs> Overall, we were awful. First half, we were absolutely awful. And I mean, yeah, we were, we were very, very lucky. They had everything in the game. We had virtually nothing. We just had four sort of vague chances and, <laughs> and they all went in. They missed the pen, remember? It could, have, it could have been a very different game. It could have been a very different game. But I'm not unhappy at, with the result. I'm just a bit like, ooh, we totally didn't deserve that. It's like wa walking over, walking over a, an iced, a lake that's been iced over in the winter and you take one step and you just feel a crack and you're like, ah, it's fine. <laughs> that's kind of how I feel. Um, yeah, classic cup smash and grab. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Our last goal was a peach. CMT, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. We just need to, yeah, we need to make sure that we don't play like, uh, play like that in the league. Because if we play like that in the league every week, we will lose more than we win. So, but that's okay. But it was the cup. It was the cup. Let's just, let's just not worry about it. Can we see the fourth again? Yeah, we can. Let's, why not? Let's, let's, do, let's just watch all of them again. Let's just watch all those goals again. I can't believe we've just done that. It's one of our best results of the season. Not only because of who we're playing. Yeah, Beef, Beef got that one. We'll see. We'll just watch them all again. I'm going to blow my nose again. My hay fever's playing up today. So the beef sneeze makes it one, make it one nil. Drobnak corner, then Drobnak goes Mares. Ake does not doesn't really do a run. Tackles the ball into his path. The Wigan centre backs, but is it Ben Mee and Andre Wisdom are just just absolutely ball watching. Bartos nips in between them, just tucks it past. I mean Al Habsi, poor Al Habsi's got no chance. This was their goal. We don't need to see that again. Whatever. I mean goals goals from set pieces. Whatever. Agafanovs, Mares, Agafan. Thierry just, again, Thierry just gets in between all of their defenders. They're not paying attention. Just nods it home. And then this fourth one. I mean, where does Bar where's Bartos? Bartos is there, right? So he's, he's the highest player here. But we play around him. Oh, he's because he wins the ball in midfield. And he just makes this brilliant run. Nobody watches him. Nobody paying attention to him. Makes an incredible run from deep. Great ball from, great vision from Carroll. Showing his potential. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Can't wait to see who we've got next. I really hope we've got a good team away. Now, I'm not, I'm not, compla I'm not complaining about the result at all. I'm just, I'm a bit sort of, you, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, we, did, we, didn't, we didn't deserve that at all, which just makes me go, well, it makes it hard to really celebrate it. But yeah, I mean, I'm totally, I don't feel, I don't look like it or sound like it, but I'm pretty, del I just can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. The movement was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, Mick, oh, Mickey Tacker. Yes, exactly. We do have Zico. It's true. We do have Zico. Tuerno, good afternoon. You just missed us beat Wigan 4-1 away in the cup. Um, Bartos, how is, his personality was the same. The last time I checked, 
His personality was still low self-belief the last time. I look at all this hair. It is ridiculous now. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, Bartos was excellent. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He, uh, you need, like I said, you can't, you can't judge him on being poor after half an hour of not having the ball. You know, if he, if he misses three chances in a row, then you can say he's not playing very well. But uh, yeah, he needs a, needs a chance. But I mean, our, surely our um, morale, yeah, must be through the roof by now. Must be through the roof. Hi, Twerno. So hi, Twerno. Unfortunately, you've missed us. Uh, beat Wigan in the cup. Unbelievable. 4-1 win. Where they were all over us. <laughs> all over us for the first period. I've got to say, though, I, sw sw um, I swatched... I swapped my two central midfielders around. Game over. Game over from that point on. So I'm going to go managering. I'm going to claim it. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, I am going... I do seem to be going full mullet, don't I? It is, it is sort of slowly happening. It's just definitely getting long at the back. Tell them they're all shit and prove me wrong. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so whoever asked, I think it was Chris Donahue. Um, how did Dragon Age go? Dragon Age was great fun. It was pretty much just me and Martin and Max uh, playing it last night. A few of you joined me for, um, for my attempt at uh, Fable anniversary yesterday afternoon, which was uh, a, just a disaster. It, it wasn't fun. I wasn't enjoying it, so I just bailed on the whole thing. Um, and I came back yesterday uh, evening and played uh, Dragon Age Origins. Just the very beginning. I didn't play Inquisition, Gabby. I, play, I decided to start with Origins, and I'm just going to go through all of the Dragon Age games. It's going to go all the way through. So now I didn't play Inquisition. I played Origins. So I've started with Origins. I'm going to be doing that every Sunday, my evil playthrough. Darth Paul's Renegade playthroughs every Sunday uh, at some point in the afternoon. I haven't really decided yet. It'll be pretty casual, but it'll be sometime on Sundays. Because not many people stream on Sundays, so I feel like I can maybe fill in. Uh, so I started with Origins. I'm a, an elf mage. Uh, the first woman I met, I called her a fat cow. It was a really good, it was just good fun. It was good, clean fun all the way through. Um, oh, Birchie, yes. Uh, sorry, Chris Donahue, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm a ma I just started as a mage with like dis disgusting face tattoos. I look so evil, it's ridiculous. And I'm a redhead, obviously. Um, it was good fun. Yeah, it was good fun. And I got, to, I've got to the point, those of you that have played Dragon Age Origins, we just basically played through the, the sort of prologue and the beginning. So I've got to the point where I join the Grey Wardens and you have to go out and kill some of the dark spawn and you whatever. Um, and uh, so I've got to that point. So we're, we're, we're almost into the campaign proper and you can start being a real twat to people. Um, I was really horrible to a lot of people, like really genuinely horrible to a lot of people. And it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, I also had the absolute piss scared out of me by some huge spiders coming down from the ceiling right in my face. So it was good fun. So that'll be every Sunday. So we'll keep doing that. Um, Gabby is doing a, uh, we'll promote Gabby's stream for those of you that haven't seen. This Friday, Gab is doing a, is it a 10 hour stream, Gab? To celebrate getting to 100 followers. Um, but for every sub, uh, every 500 bits and every $10 donation, is it? I can't remember. Um... Uh, she'll extend her stream by 20 minutes. So I reckon we can get her up to a good 14, 15 hours just between us, let alone everybody else that shows up. Um, oh, five pounds or more. There we go. Yeah, so DMC, we're going to be playing... Uh, I think we're going to be playing Ark on Fridays. I think Ark is going to be our Friday game now. So I'm going to be playing FM basically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday... Um, I'm, I'm pretty much committing myself to streaming virtually every day with the, I'll, I'll take the odd day off. Um, uh, but I'm going to be playing FM Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Arc on Friday, FM Super Soccer, Super Soccer Saturday streaming game on, uh, drinking game. Sorry. I'm really tired. Uh, on Saturday, we'll just still do the drinking game on Saturday. And then on Sundays, I'm going to do my Renegade playthrough. So there'll still be five days of FM. Um, so it's still going. Uh, 24 hours. Oh yeah, Gab, have you set a maximum? You should set a maximum for your stream, just in case. Because you know what this lot are like. They will they will donate you until you're doing like a three-week solid stream. <laughs> so you should set a maximum. Um, 
Oh, you're G Gab, you're welcome because, and the, the reason I'm promoting it is because you deserve it, but I think I might do the same thing when I get to 200. I've got quite a long way to go. I'm only on like 150, 154 or something. So when I get to 200, I think I'll do something similar. Um, it's, a good, it's a good idea, and I hope you don't mind me uh, basically just nicking the idea. It's a really good idea. Because I've been thinking that, about doing another 24-hour stream, but I didn't really know why, um, because I, I've raised plenty of money at this point for the club. The fundraiser, um, I'm going to close the fundraiser soon because the fundraiser, I think we've probably got as much as we're going to get out of it. People are being very generous um, and, you know, we've, we've raised loads. So, um, um, yeah, five seconds. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not doing it with all my FM streams, but I will do it for one. I think when I get to 200, um, I'll do something similar where I might do another because I want, I want to do another long stream. Because I, I enjoyed, even though I was really struggling in the last couple of hours, I really enjoyed the 24-hour stream. It was really good fun. And I, now I've done one, um, and I've got a better I idea of the kind of games that, that go over well and the, and the kind of games that I like. I'd like to do another one, but I don't. Uh, I feel like I need to do it for, for a cause uh, or for a reason. I need a, something to like spark it. So I think when I get to 200 followers, I'll do something similar to to what Gab's doing. So um, if that's all right with you, Gab, I hope you don't mind me. Um, I hope you don't mind me appropriating your idea. But um, we'll certainly be there on Friday. I'm, I'm uh, pretty much block, b block booking Friday off from, um, from my work. I'll only be doing emergency work on Friday so that I can be there for your stream for as long as possible. Uh, how about some flight simulator? Yeah, well, I actually bought... Um, a game yesterday that's on sale. Uh, I think it's called Wreckfest, or I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's, it's basically Destruction Derby. It's an, it's like a new Destruction Derby. It looks so much fun. So that would definitely be included, 100%. If I can get, as long as I can get it running on my laptop, I haven't tried yet, but I have bought it. Um, for my next stream as well, I'd quite like to get my PS4 involved. So I need to buy a bit of gear before then. Um, oh, Luton to Innsbruck action over on Flight Simulators. Oh my God. That guy, he knows he knows how to keep reeling people in, doesn't he? He knows how to reel the fans in. Sorry, I need to blow my. I'm having a, I'm having real trouble with my allergies today. You have to excuse me. Sorry, lads. Massive problems with my allergies. Oh, CM Tid, thank you for the host. Cheers, mate. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So yeah, if you're not following Gabby, um, go and follow Gab right now. Uh, the underscore Art for Gabby for, for Friday. I'll be playing uh, Ark with her for, I don't know, a few hours. Um, I think we'll, we'll say that we'll play it for three hours. And if anybody donates within the time that we're playing Ark and specifically says they want us to keep playing Ark, then as long as you're okay with that, Gab, I'll keep playing Ark with you up to a maximum of maybe six hours or something. I'll, I'll set a cap on it because I'm going to have to go and do... I'm going to have to not be playing games the entire day. I can watch, but I'm also going to have to, you know, eat and various <laughs> various other things. But um, as, long as, as long as you're up for that, Gab, we'll, we can set the rules on Friday. It's completely up to you. I'm just happy to be playing. Yeah, Wreckfest looks... Uh, Wreckfest looks brilliant. Yeah, DMC, I agree. That was why I bought it. I don't even know how I came across it. I just tend to... Um, oh, we've got another game. Who have we got? Oh, Torquay. Okay. I'll let, uh, let's, let's, let's let the stud pick the team today. Stud can pick the team. So he's put Buick in goal, which is obviously some sort of mistake. Um, Ake, Magnum. Ooh, Magnum, really? Mm, not sure about Magnum. Not sure. I think Dusty. I think Dusty's coming back in. Uh, Child, Beef, Dusty, Cedric... Carol, Rabio, yes. Mares, Ramis. Not sure about that decision either, to be completely honest with you. Um, and I don't think we need all these defenders on the bench either. So we'll take... Well, Ake is fine. Actually, no, no. Oh, Dusty's at 87. Ugh. Okay, maybe we'll, we'll give Magnum another go. We'll, give Ma we'll let Magnum have a chance. Uh, Ake, Magnum, Beef, Venema, Rabio, Carol, Agafanovs, Ram. I don't want Ramis. He's not ready. Uh, somebody like, let's see, probably, T oh, I think Frank Thierry, Frank Thierry definitely deserves another shot, 100%. Uh, and then let's put Bartos on the side. Yeah, Bartos. I've kind of already a little bit tired of Diego Lopez. 
<laughs> unfortunately. We'll, we'll put him on the bench and tr hopefully we'll get a chance to give him um, a go as well. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure about Magnum. Now you know what. Not Magnum. We're gonna put. We're gonna put Miller in. Togba Miller. I've got more of a. I've got a better feeling about him. Um, team is full of superstar. Oh yeah, but the child. Oh the child. I think the child is everyone's favorite. I think. Yeah. I think the child is everyone's favorite. Martin. Oh yeah, Bill. Bill played actual football yesterday. Bill. Is that why you shaved your beard? More aerodynamic. Let us know how your real football got on, Bill. A hundred percent. Oh, I'm happy to keep playing it until you're fed up with it. Okay, Gab. Well, in that case, we'll just we'll just keep going. We'll we'll give it a good go. Um, I'm happy to basically keep playing it, you know, until yeah, until I get tired, until I'm until I decided I've had enough. But I, I really feel like now that we've got the basics down, it, it's going to be amazing now because we've got our little guys that we can ride, as it were. Um, out of context arc uh, on Twitter. If that exists, I'm in trouble. Um, we've got our, we've got uh, Steve the second and Bill that we can ride into battle. Uh, good luck, lads. Go out there and pull off an upset. No, didn't think so. Didn't think so. Is everything just an upset now? It's just every every game we play, we're the underdogs. It seems. Oh no, they're not. They've. Oh no, they're less happy than they were. Okay, well that's alright. Um, Oh, two goals for Bill Hupler. Only... Oh, mate. Yes. Oh, yeah, Gabby. Yeah, I think we should set our goal to... Um, I think we should... If we come across the, um, the, the the Velociraptor again, I definitely think we should we should try and tame it. I'm, I'm so, so keen for that. Uh, now that we know, we know the power of the bowler, we should definitely try and... Oh, no. We should definitely try and capture the... Um, ooh, the Raptor. And then, and then try to go into the mountains, just head into the mountains on our steeds, on our mighty steeds. And go after the T-Rex. I think that's, yeah, I think that's got to happen. I think we've at least got to find a T-Rex. Because at the moment we don't even, that's got to be a foul. Unbelievable. Um, at the moment we don't, we don't even know where they are. We know that they're in the mountains, but I don't, I don't, I feel like we don't even know where the mountains are. So we've got a bit of work to do. I'm not really happy with how this is going so far. Very scrappy. Pitched midfield battle. I killed two... Well, I, with Gabby's help, we killed two Triceratopses the other day. Team child, yeah. Well done for your brace, Bill. Love that uh, my tactics helped. The old near post header. Love a bit of that. Yes, good tackle, Carol. Nice. Not delighted with how much Torquay are actually playing football here. I was hoping that they would just be rubbish. But no. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger bowler. We'll definitely need a bigger one if we do come across a T-Rex. I've got a feeling that that won't go down very well. I mean, if a Triceratops killed Steve the first, then a T-Rex is going to just eat him for lunch, isn't it? Steve, Steve the second is going to be in all kinds of trouble. Look at this press from Torquay. Oh, great ball in. In him, he's got to score. Oh, Thierry scores. Good old, good little Thierry. Frank Thierry, what a player. What a player. Oh, he's he's got a chance of being the French Jamie Davis. There's a chance. Oh, I might need to take a hay fever tablet here. I've been trying not to take one. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to relent. Thierry is everywhere. That might be a goal in every appearance. Good header. I had to blow my nose again, sorry. Come on, lads. Oh no, get that, yeah, good, good. Whatever you did there, child. Good little, little scrappy scrape away. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, last dance. Yeah, we've... If if Steve makes with Bill, there's going to be the biggest hype train ever. Yeah. 
<laughs> Especially because they're both female. I'm pretty sure that isn't a thing. Um, yeah, Tam and I are currently making our way through season three of... Oh, Agafanovs. Hang on. Agafanovs. Please cross it. Yes, Ian Hume. Oh, Ian Hume fires home our second. Oh, we're doing it to Torquay now as well. We're doing it to Torquay. Lovely breakaway. Uh, Tam and I are just on season three of Stranger Things. And once we finish that, I, I kind of want to finish The Last Dance. We only watched the first episode of it. But you guys have been... Um, oh, what a finish from Hume. Pure power. You guys have been talking up The Last Dance pretty strongly. Uh, so I feel like I've got to got to keep watching it. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a voice like Scotty Pippen. Oh, Riyad Mahrez! Oh, great save! Oh, Thierry should have got there. Thierry should have got there. Damn it. Great tackle, child. I did three auditions this morning for uh, various uh, voiceover jobs. I really hope I get one of them. Um... Mainly because they all, all three of them pay pretty well, but um, it's mainly because of the jobs that they are. One of them's a TV TV ad. I'd love to. I've never done a TV ad before. I'd love to get a TV commercial. Uh, so that'd be awesome. That'd be a real landmark for me. Oh God, I thought that was in. Uh, and the other one of the other. I forgot. I forget what the second one was for. But the last one that I just did before I came in, in here was for a video game. I don't know which one because it doesn't say. It never says in the on the casting pages. It never tells you what company it is. It never tells you what, anything. It just, it's all very vague. You know, you, 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 you know where, where the company name would be, it usually says like Company X or something. So you never know who they're for. Um, uh, yeah, I'm pleased. Keep it going. Starbury, can I get a CA from everyone? How do you do that? I'd give you one, as it were, if I knew how to. It's been a long time. Oh! Yep. Arc 2, punch it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Get that. Nice. Oh, I, oh, come on, ref. Jesus, what is this? That is disgraceful. Agafonov is about to rip them to shreds. Oh, Mares has lost that one. Get that, child. Get that child. Oh, Melvin. Jeez, oh. Oh, Ian, what a ball to Hume. Lovely. Thierry's in again. Oh, he's gone for the lob. Oh, it's come off the inside of the post. Oh, so unlucky. Frank Thierry. Man, goes for the studs lob. The stud has been all over him in training, obviously. Teaching him the trademark Astudio lob. Off the inside of the post. Doesn't get much closer than that. Oh, I'm gutted about that. I genuinely am. Take him out. Take him out. <clears throat> oh, no, that's a good goal. That's Matt Derbyshire, isn't it? He's really good. Okay. Okay, Matt Derbyshire, danger man. We're doing okay though. We, I mean, we're playing fine. We're playing. F oh, oh, that's good. Ugh, I don't like the fact that we're constantly being forced back. Well, Agathonov has done really well. Thierry, great ball from Thierry to Ian Hume. Oh, what a save from Olejnik. What a ball from Thierry. I'll tell you what, Ian Hume is playing well. He is playing really well. Get on that beef. Oh, unlucky. That's got to be... Get him off. Ref, that's got to be a red. How many chances are they going to get? Unreal. Unreal. Come on, boys. Mares! Oh, off the crossbar. How, how on earth has Riyad Mares not scored for us? Since he's been with us. It's, it's absolutely miraculous that he hasn't scored. Him and Rabio, They really should both have scored at least two for us by now. Okay. Tom Carroll struggling. 67. Um, I'm going to... Mm, let's see. I'm going to put Zico on. We need a little bit more kicking in midfield. 
The Rabio. Rabio can go deep lying playmaker, I think. It feels like more of a role for him. Everybody else is all right at the moment. All right. Nobody's playing out of their skin. Hume is playing well. Yeah, hitting the crossbar a lot is right. Ooh, that's a good clearance. Not very happy about this. Uh, is it, we're still. We're, what, what's good though is that we're generally forcing Torquay to shoot from range, which is good. If we can keep teams to having to shoot from the edge of the box, then we're doing something right. Uh, I don't really want to. I might drop into the flying V with Zico in there. I think I might. I don't really like that, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, Thierry is playing. Oh, Rabiot's only at 58. Okay. We'll take Rabio off then for Lopez. It's not really what I wanted to do, but we'll do it. Ah, oh, Thierry, don't get sent off. Oh, I thought he had sent off. Britain all over him there. Oh, the child has done brilliantly. Thierry Hume put him through. Oh, there was a through ball on. Oh, Zico's found the through ball. Ian Hume is in again. Straight down the middle. Ian Hume. He's deserved a second goal today and he's finally got it. Yes, Torquay 1, AFC Russian 3. Have some of that, Torquay. Have some of that. Torquay had just started to look a little bit too threatening, and we've pegged them back again. Keeper comes out. Hume just goes straight through him. Straight through him. No chance, goalkeeper. Yeah, Hume is a battering man of a striker. Battering ram of a striker. He sure is. He sure is. Uh, Gab, are you streaming today? Are you streaming afterwards? Let us know. It was great. Yeah, the child The child is such a good player. Oh, that was a good save from Anik. I think Jack Anik... I know Buick made one mistake. And uh, we it was that lo the loss against Stevenage. He made that one mistake. And I feel bad for dropping him because of... Oh, Jesus. Because of one mistake. But Jack Anik, I mean, how can you argue with him being in the team, really? He has been phenomenal since he's been in the team. Phenomenal. We've not had a bourbon and milk for a while. No, no. We've, the the five nil wins have been dr have dried up a bit, haven't they? Oh, good header. Not today. Oh, okay. Tuesday, Assassin's Creed. Wednesday, we great. Okay, thanks, Gab. That's good to know. That's cool. We might, um, depending on who's online. Oh, hit that Zico. Ah. Oh. We might, ooh, oh, we might raid. Uh, we might raid somebody else today. We'll see who's online at the end. We might go and raid someone else. I think. So I was talking on Saturday about a new um, pair of streamers that I follow. They they stream under one account. They, I think it's a husband and wife. Oh, that. Oh, Anik. Well, that is a miracle save from Anik. Anik. Absolute miracle save. That should have just definitely gone in. Um, there was a. Yeah, there's a pair of streamers called Scum and Villainy. I think it's a... I'm not sure if it's a husband and wife or, or what. Um, but it's a man and a woman and they stream point-and-click games. And I think on Mondays they do classic point-and-click adventures. So we'll see what they're... If they're online when we finish, we'll see what they're playing. Um, oh, Jesus. There's a couple of other people that I'd like to... Um, that, I'd like to that I'd like to raid and support at some point. Um, somebody... Was it Dale... I think it was Dale was talking about streaming as well. Um, I think was it Dale? Somebody in somebody in the chat. Pretty sure it was Dale was talking about streaming Dungeon Keeper. Um, so I don't know if that's got off the ground yet, but we could all obviously we would raid him for sure if that uh, if that kicked off. Oh, Birchie, sorry, sorry, Birchie. Yeah, I knew it was somebody with numbers in their name. Sorry. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, my memory is, is awful. I, knew, I just knew it was somebody that had numbers in their username. I couldn't remember who it was. Sorry, Birchie. Yeah, but are you gonna are you gonna stream today, Birchie? Do you think, or are you gonna wait until you've got uh, everything set up? Because you ordered that camera, didn't you? Or this camera, this camera I'm using. Let me know, obviously, because uh, we will f fully come and raid you, 100%. It's all over. Torquay 1, AFC Russian 3. Have some of that, Torquay, you losers. Yeah, it's magnificent. Oh, they're all delighted. Of course they are. Clawing our way back up the table. 
Only one point off the top now. Nice. Let's do it. Oh, Blue Yeti Gab. Good choice. Good choice. Oh, Santos, hi. Hi, everyone. Mike, did you miss getting Brighton again in the cup? Oh, did I? You're joking. I d if, if that did happen, then I did miss it, yes. I just skip through all of my news items. I just, I don't even, as you've know, probably noticed, I, I don't even read them. I don't really care. Did we really get Brighton again? Oh, my God, we did as well. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. Brighton and the new Reading, they're just everywhere. How is it that we keep getting the same team over and over and over again? Oh, it's exhausting. Look at all the teams that are still in it that we could have had. Liverpool, United, Arsenal, Chelsea, City. Could have had any of them. I cannot believe we've got Brighton again. Jesus. Okay, well, fine, fine. Whatever. Whatever. We'll do Yeah, do them, exactly. All magic numbers, 131. Nice, nice, nice. Keep counting down. Yeah, Bircher, your stream's going to be great. Oh, technical issues last night. We'll do another test stream. DOSBox is giving me grief. Yeah, okay. Hope new work laptop and a little workaround will sort me out. Okay, mate. Well, definitely let me know, obviously. Let us know in the chat when you're, you know, getting up for it. Um, and we'll, we'll, you know, if you, if you if we can raid you, we will. Or just let us know when you're planning on streaming. I'm sure loads of us will come and, jo will come and, uh, come and join you, for sure. If I can get, I'll, I'll always, if, whenever I can come, I'll be there. Every time. A good test stream of you playing poker badly. Oh, cool. So, yeah, do. Keep us in the loop. Keep us in the loop. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Oh, 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 oh. Johan, Me Johan Mialby's lost his job at AIK. Not interested. Sorry, lads. Not interested. Okay. Yep, yep. Francois Zoko. Interesting that they think that I would want him. Joe Thompson. Hmm. He doesn't look too bad, but I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> CM did. <laughs> Get stuffed. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. Yeah, hoping it arrives for Friday. That would be cool. That would be cool, Gab. I hope you get it working. It should be easy. The the blue that blue yeti thing wherever it's gone. I don't know where I've put it now, but that that blue microphone that I've got super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Just plug it's just USB plug and play. Super easy. Oh, Bill, great. Great to hear that you got some good news. It's very cryptic of you, but good to, good to know that you got some good news. Sleep well, mate. We'll see you next time. Or maybe see you on Friday. Yeah, we did single digits by the weekend. Yeah, we're going to smash our way through this division. I've got it. We've started really well, haven't we? I mean, apart from that opening day defeat, we would be, we'd have a hundred percent record in the league if it wasn't for that loss. That's why I'm so annoyed about it. It's good to take the pressure off, though, isn't it? Early on, <laughs> the pressure that you know when we when we were going for that unbeaten season, we were going for that invincible season. The pressure was immense, and so it's in a way, it's nice to have the invincibles pressure removed. Mm. Oh, my face and. My face and body ugh, feel all horrible from these bloody allergies. It's been it's been years since I had proper allergies because I'm not used to it being sunny <laughs> or warm. But yeah, we're still going, still going through the cup. Can we finally slay the Brighton beast? Oh, Bill, that's it. Oh, nice, nice. Thank you for filling us in. Two hundred and forty-five million dollar cash boost to your industry lovely that's what we like to hear that means jobs mate that means jobs that means you get to keep your job hopefully that is a result well good luck with that hopefully that goes well oh dear good old jacinda yep she's a ledge jealous very jealous of Jacinda. The absolute trolls we've got running the various other countries. 
<laughs> yeah, then you can buy the diamonds. I don't know. We're, we're worth a bit more than that, I think. Ralphie B isn't going to settle for 245 million. That's a drop in the ocean. <laughs> yep, Bill doesn't get out of bed for less than 245 million. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that. <coughs> exactly. Keep him away. Keep Bill away from the board. Oh, you know what? Actually, that's something that we could do. That's something we could do if, if we lose somebody from the stream. You know, like Bill was saying that he wasn't going to be able to come back to the streams anymore because he was going to have to actually go to bed and, you know, live a life. We can just, I can just edit them into, onto the board. I could do that, I think. I could, I could add people to the board and then just change their names. Yeah, okay. I don't know why you're recommending these old players to me. I kind of would like to have Ryan Gould because he is Ryan Gould, but at the same time, He's not going to displace Mares. <laughs> Heard about this young Welsh manager with a famous brother. <laughs> he is my intellectual equal, but my managerial inferior. Yeah, Martin, you're not wrong about, about Ralphie B selling Grabovac, but it, it actually was more than one million. I just can't remember the, the actual details of the deal. Um, and uh, we needed the money pretty desperately so uh, you know it's alright Ralphie B we're going to just say that Ralphie B and I are in agreement uh, if I'd got a 1.3 million offer for Grabovac I probably would have accepted it I didn't want to sell him but you always know there are other players out there I think you should always sell and I think that for real football as well if you get a huge offer for a player and you resist and resist and resist and resist unless it's a tactic to try to get more money and you know that you're always going to sell you just want to hold out for as much money as possible uh, I think you should always sell because for the amount of money that you can get for a single player nowadays in real life you could buy almost a whole squad so yeah I think um, you should always sell yeah we could just edit Bill Huppler into the game as a player I th yeah I think I can do that I remember there was one time in a long time ago and I don't know which ver version of FM it was um, I edited somebody's name and I unwittingly edited so then you know I changed like the name Dave to the name Chris uh, just for some just for one individual person I changed their name from like Dave to Chris but what happened was that every single Dave in the entire game turned to Chris it made me change every single one uh, and so, yeah, that might ruin everything. We might have loads of Bill Hupplers running around. <laughs> Which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, don't get me wrong. But I don't want to break my whole game, you know. I can imagine one Bill Huppler being a professional footballer. Maybe two. But I don't know about many. We need to do another quiz. That Bill, Bill Huppler morning quiz was brilliant. We should do another one of those. Oh, the other thing, is, is Bill gone? I guess he's probably gone now. Um, I never asked him if he actually raised the money that he was trying to raise for that, uh, with that, um, with that quiz. Make a bid, I don't care, make a bid for Bashwai, who cares? But yeah, Bill was trying to raise money, and I don't know if he actually did it. Uh, like, if he actually reached his goal, I'm not sure. Right, here we go again. What have we got now? Oh, it's no, we're not in the... Why aren't we in the Johnson's Paint Trophy? That's funny. I wonder if we got a bye to the second round. Why wouldn't we be in the Johnson's Paint Trophy? Weird. Maybe as league champions you don't... I don't know. Oh, Bashwai's gone to Malaga. Congratulations. All right, here we go. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. I'm going to need to go and get another tissue. My nose is... My nose is brutal today. <laughs> Max seemed to be having fun yesterday when I was playing Dragon Age. It was a good... It was a good laugh. 
you know, just going around and being an utter arsewipe to everybody in, in, within range. It is quite funny. Oh, there's a big one from Bale. My name is unusual for an Irish person. In early CM, I added myself and my brothers as players after a few scenes. A lot of the regions have your name. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, Gaff, hi. Hi, Gaff. Oh, interesting, Bale. That is interesting. I hadn't really thought about that. Well, Gabby, if you want, <laughs> if you really want, you can catch up on my uh, stream. You can watch it. I've got it in my... Uh, I actually have uploaded it to my YouTube as well. But it's in my uh, previous... It's like listed in my previous broadcasts. Um... Oh, yeah, Birchie, did you manage to figure that out? Did you manage to figure out how to save your streams? I, d I don't know exactly how it... There must be... I didn't look... I meant to look in my settings to see how you did it, because I, I meant to tell you today how to do it, but then I forgot to look it up. Um, yeah, Gabby, yeah, there's a... There's a... There's a, like a... You can watch it on my Twitch channel, or you can watch it on my YouTube channel. Um, oh, Curly Davis is here as well. Hi, Curly. Hi, mate. Oh, and thank you for the host, Curly. <laughs> Tom, mate, thank you for that. Much appreciated. Yeah, um, it's on my... Uh, the the first first episode of Origins is on my... It's on my YouTube. Yeah, I, it was funny that the, it wasn't me as a person. It was my, my dialogue options. The first woman I met was the girlfriend of my supposedly best friend in the in the mage circle and my first dialogue option with her was to call her a fat cow so i obviously went for it uh, worked out like an absolute treat right okay so we can register some of these players in reserves for the squad uh oh, stuart moore just yeah so we've got a 24 man squad yeah that's everybody. Everybody's eligible now. Got I've got a pretty good young squad, including my reserves, and obviously, obviously my under 18s are all under 21. Uh, what what's happening with our fixtures? Why haven't we got any games? God, we've got loads of time until our next game. Preston on the tenth. Jesus. Oh, uh, thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, she wasn't. Th that was the thing. Is that uh, I? I was just. It was my my friend Jowan. He's like your, he's, he's your, supposedly like your best friend in the, if you're a mage, he's your best friend in the mage circle. And he tries to convince you to help him and his partner run away uh, from the circle because you're basically trapped there. Like mages aren't allowed to leave. And if you do leave, then you just get mercilessly hunted down and they hunt you down by taking blood, taking your blood and using your blood to, f to track you. And then when they find you, they kill you. Um... Uh, I wasn't trying to sign him. I actually cancelled that transfer ages ago, so I don't know what you're talking about. Let's look at the window lineup. Uh, window lineup. Window roundup. Tom Carroll. Yes, top pick. And that's about it. Oh yes, we'll take that. Thanks, Chelsea, for the seventy-eight thousand pounds. Oh, one point seven million in the bank, but we lost seven hundred and eighty-seven k last month. What did we spend all of that on? Ah, uh, players. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, we won't repeat that. That's not going to happen again. Yeah, phylactery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think it is an international break. So that's why we haven't got games for so long. That's right. Um, yeah. Phylactery. Yeah, so you're not allowed to leave the mage circle. So him and his partner try and convince you to help them destroy Jowan's blood that they've got stored in this phylactery destroy help him destroy his phylactery and escape but of course the moment they told me of their plans i called his girlfriend a fat cow and then ran off to the uh, to the like chief wizard and told him everything <laughs> completely grasped him up straight away snitched on him immediately he's going to escape <laughs> so um uh so uh the guy said well go with them and like seem like you're assisting them and then we'll turn up and arrest him 
And so that was what we did. And I still got, I still got blamed. I still got in trouble, even though I was totally told to do it. Uh. <laughs> Snitch. Well, you say that, Gaff, but I have zero stitches. Actually, I was rewarded. Uh, snitches get rewards, it turns out. I was rewarded with a place in uh, the, um, what are they called? The, uh, the, the, the people that protect the world, whatever they're called. The Grey Wardens. I was made a grey grey warden. Yeah. Oh, Gabby. God damn it. I know too much about Dragon Age. I'd be like those people going, get Ebola. <laughs> yeah, why haven't you got Ebola yet? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, unbelievable. There was all the, the kid that... Um, I mean, the thing is that the kid that tried to help me with uh, with um, Fable, was ve he was very helpful. He was really cool. Um, but again, he, he was sort of saying, do this and do that. And I just didn't even know what direction I was going in most of the time. Fable was less fun than I, ho than I hoped. It was less fun than I remember. I, the thing is, I remember Fable being really good fun. But the problem is, it's only really good fun when you're about halfway in and you're just an all-powerful super being. Um, everything before that is less fun. Um, yeah, I've, yeah, I've completed, yeah, there was the, I've completed this game six times. I know exactly what I'm doing. Let me tell you exactly how to finish the game. Like, why don't you just go and play it? I don't know why, but you know, of course, you people want to, people want to show off their knowledge, don't they? People want to seem smart. And if you don't know any actual useful knowledge, then go and tell gamers how to play games. That's the way, that's the way around it. But yeah, anyway, it was, he was actually quite helpful and I didn't, I didn't mind him. I didn't mind, uh the kid i forget his name now uh he he did um he did sub uh, not subscribe he did follow me um i i appreciated his help with with fable because i had no idea what i was doing quite honestly um but the uh, the bowl the bowler stuff from <laughs> from from arc was was hilarious right i need to go and get another sorry i need to go and get another tissue to blow my nose i'm struggling big time uh Oh, we're still processing. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Get get a bowler. Yeah. Poor <laughs> poor. Man. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Having a hay fever related emergency. Um, yeah. CMT. To be fair, I'd have no patience as a streamer. It is occasionally difficult to 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 remain patient. Um, I tell you what, Gabby's really good at it. Gabby's really good at annoy uh, annoying ignoring annoying people um yeah i think you, you have to appreciate that people it, some people are trying to help and they're trying that you know like the, the the um oh it was andy something nj you're right it was andy something yeah andy yesterday was was trying to help he could see that i just didn't know what i was doing and he was trying to gently help me um there was one moment where he explained something that was obvious even if i had brain damage so, uh, but I said to him, you, you don't need to talk to me like I'm a child. I do actually understand what's going on around me. Um, oh, there we go. We're, so we are, we did, oh, we, we must have got a buy. That's weird. We got a buy in the first round of the Johnson's Paint Trophy, I guess. I'm, it probably was in my news. I don't read it. Bradford City away. We can have them. That's Starchild Luke's team. We'll have them at Valley Parade. No problem. No problem. Um... Uh, but yeah, yeah. So, so sometimes... Um, yeah, yeah. Well, Gabby, you were very good yesterday. You, you were, you were very, you, you helped me yesterday because you said exactly that on my stream, which is when the kid was like, go here, do this. And you said, I think he wants to work it out for himself. And you're quite right. That is, I mean, that's part of it, isn't it? Um, I don't mind being stuck, but what I really want is for, I kind of want the, the people that are watching like you guys to also not know so that we can try and figure it out together. Somebody who comes in with like an encyclopedic knowledge, like the Wikipedia page just imprinted in their brain. Um, yeah. Backseat gaming. Yeah. Some, somebody who's just got the whole game, just like the matrix just coming down in front of their face. Um, and they just tell you exactly what you do, uh, what, what to do. That, that's less fun. That's much less fun. Um, Dale. No, I haven't seen Limmy's hot seat. What's that? What's that? 
Yeah, thanks, Gabby. You did. You did help. You did help. I don't think I said that CMT because I don't like that word. So if I did say it, then I shouldn't have. Yeah, Gabby, the guitar thing. Exactly. The guitar thing in We Happy Few where we were all trying to figure out what to do. Um, yeah, figuring it out. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I think, Curly, I think what it is is that people want, some people just want to be right. You know, they just want to be seen as uh, intellectual. And I don't mean about games. I mean, just in life in general. You know, you always come across somebody who's a bit of a know-it-all and they like, they like to, 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 to hold knowledge over you. Like, I know this and you don't. Mm, that kind of attitude that some people have. And they like to correct you. And they like to make sure that you understand that they know more than you about things. So some people will come on to Twitch in order to demonstrate how much they know and how much you suck by compar compared to them. It's like, a super, it's like trying to make themselves feel better about themselves. So I get that. I'm not saying that that's what was happening yesterday. I don't, I don't think Andy was like that yesterday. Um, the bowler kids were like that. They're, they're, one, of, one of them was trying to join me and Gabby in game, presumably so he could just complete the game for us, um, but uh, which we resisted um, very well. Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks, Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, love it. <laughs> Gaff, yeah, all the promotions are thanks to us. All the dips in form are thanks to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't mind you guys um, backseat gaming on FM because quite honestly, I ask your opinion a lot of the time because I want to know what you think. I won't always do what you say, um, but uh, I like to know what you think. It's, um, it, I find it interesting because sometimes I just completely disagree with everybody and I don't understand what you're all talking about. And then if we win, I can be like, ha ha, I'm the best. <laughs> and then if we lose, I go, OK, yeah, that, I suck. It turns out I suck. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't always ignore you, CMT. I don't always ignore you. What I think is that I ask you knowing what I already think. And I sometimes ask just to see if you agree with me. Um, but... Uh, Yes, Bale is right. There is no correct answer in FM. Exactly. Sometimes you can do everything right and still lose or whatever. 